Hey, Alan here. Are you a high income earner? Are you looking for ways to reduce your tax burden, increase your tax free investment, and keep your money working for you? Let's talk about some tax strategies you can use in 2023 to make all of that happen. Do you know what a high income earner is? You might be surprised by the IRS definition of a high earner. Well, a high income earner is someone who earns $200,000 or more in total positive income, also called TPI annually. TPI is the total income from all different sources on an individual's tax return. Now that we've done introductions, let's get started with preserving your wealth. Want a quick peek? Yes, please. Let's do it. We're gonna look at the following topics. Donate appreciated capital assets, 1031 exchange, qualified opportunity zone investments, health saving accounts, Roth 401k, insurance income protection, 529 plan, self-education and training, whole life insurance policy, and municipal bonds. First, let's start with donate appreciated capital assets. If you own capital assets that you held for at least one year and you itemize your deductions, you can decrease your tax burden by donating your appreciated capital assets. You may donate capital assets with a value of up to 30% of your adjusted gross income. For example, if you wanted to unload a small tax stock that increased in value, but not enough to keep in your portfolio, donate it to the charity of your choice. Do this and you can avoid the capital gain tax if you have held the tax stock for more than a year. If it has increased in value a lot, you can carry the amount that exceeded 30% of your modified adjusted gross income forward into future tax years and reduce your tax burden. The amount allowable for capital gains donation is less than the amount allowed for cash donation, but it does give you tax benefits in the current tax year and in future tax years. Another plus, you can use the donation to reduce the concentration of your company stock while paying the capital gains tax on it. Furthermore, you can have some control over where the capital asset like your appreciated stock goes. 1031 exchange. For taxpayers who own properties that's increased in value over at least a year, but also want to avoid paying capital gains tax on the current value of the property, and would like to immediately buy another piece of property, they can take advantage of the 1031 exchange. The 1031 exchange allow you to structure the sale of your property so that you can roll over the proceeds from the sale into the purchase of another property. This allows you to avoid realizing the capital gain on the old property and avoid paying taxes on the capital gains until you sell the new property in the future. For example, you can buy a new property before you sell your old property and roll the proceeds from the sale of the old property directly into the new property. To do this, have someone call an exchange accommodation title holder, hold the property for no more than 180 days while you sell the old property. Note, you will still have to pay a capital gain tax on the sale of your old property, but you can delay paying it until after you sell the new property. See how powerful that is? This is great for families that want to leave property to their children because the property when inherited receive a step up cost basis. Translation, when inherited, the deferred tax gains aren't realized by the heirs, the children, so that they can get the property tax free. If you decide to do a 1031 exchange, I would highly recommend you consult a tax professional to help you do it. It is complex and has to be done in a certain way for you to get the tax benefit, but once you're able to accomplish this, the tax benefit is in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Qualify Opportunity Zone Investment. This tax program, the Qualify Opportunity Zone Investment, also known as the QOZ, incentivize people and businesses to make private, long-term, and economically distressed com communities. Investors in distressed areas are permitted to defer payment of their taxes on recognized capital gains if their gains are invested in a QOZ for at least 180 days. The capital gains can be deferred until 2026, but a portion of the realized gains is no longer available after December 31st, 2021. Plus, the growth of the QOZ investment is tax-free. This is a tremendous opportunity for people who have an exceptional capital gain in a single tax year and expect lower income in the future. Health saving accounts. The health savings account also refers to HSS gives you a triple tax benefit tax-free earnings, tax-deductible contribution, and future tax-free withdrawals for qualified medical expenses. The maximum contribution for 2023 is $3,850 for single filers and $7,750 for married filing jointly. In addition, you can add $1,000 if you're 55 or older as a way to catch up on your contribution. Bonus, HSAs have no income limitation. However, you must enroll in an approved health plan through your employer and pay a high deductible. $1,500 for single filers and $3,000 for married filing jointly. Some of the other benefits of using HOA include your earnings compound tax-free, 
withdrawals are tax-free for medical expenses, huge compounding potentials when contributions are invested and remain untouched until retirement. You receive a current above-the-line tax deduction on any contribution made to HSA. It lowers your taxable income and is useful for covering medical costs and creating wealth. It's flexible and able to generate tax-free money for the future for you and your family. Roth 401ks. Instead of putting your contribution into a traditional pre-tax 401k, put your money into a Roth 401k. Roth 401k does have income limitations, but here's where it's powerful. The money that goes into it is already taxed because it's a post-tax income that you're putting in there, but the money grows tax-free and when you do decide to take it out one day, that money is completely tax-free. That's right. All the original money that you put in there plus all the reinvestments, all the interest, all the growth that came out of the 20, 30 years they invested that money. Now, you never have to worry about government taking tax from it. Whatever balance you see in your Roth 401k account, completely tax-free. It is insanely powerful because sometimes you can't predict what the government's gonna do or how high the tax rate is gonna get in the future. But this way, you have no longer need to worry about all of that. It's gonna be completely, let me say it once again, tax-free. Celebrate. Really think about Roth 401k as like I mentioned, it does come with a limitation that you need to think about. So invest in it early before you hit that limitation for yourself. Next, let's talk about the income protection insurance. If you earn six figure or more in salary, you should protect your income with insurance. This is doubly if you're the sole earner in your household or have loan repayment obligations each month that will go into default if you lose your job or miss a payment. You can deduct the premium paid for your income protection insurance from your gross income during the tax year. Note, you can only do this if you personally paid for your income protection insurance yourself. The 529 plan. 529 plans are available in every state on a great way to stash away cash for college expenses. Some of their major tax advantages are tax-free growth, tax-free withdrawals, exemption from federal and state income tax, and the funds are used for qualified educational expenses like tuition and books are not taxed at the federal tax state level. Depending on your state of residency, you may be eligible to claim your 529 plan contribution as a tax deductible expense or claim a tax credit for them. There are two types of 529 plans. There is a prepaid tuition plan, which lets you buy tuition credits at today's price for future enrollment in specific schools. The other plan is the education savings plan, which allows you to open a tax advantage account to save money for school expenses. The school expenses cover include computer equipment and reasonable room and board. It may also be used to pay off student loans, but there are some limitations, including a $10,000 lifetime withdrawal limit. You may also use money that is in your 529 plan for non-education related expenses. Those expenditures are taxable and you'll be hit with a 10% penalty. Anyone can open and contribute to a 529 plan for themselves or for someone else. So this is great if you're planning to have a, your kid's birthday party and you're not sure if you really want more toys for him or her, let them contribute to your 529 plan, which is gonna greatly reduce the need for a college fund later on because your 529 plan can be that college savings fund that you always wanted and not worry about college tuition later on. Self-education training or executive coaching. This amazing tax deduction can be used to boost your performance at work, help you change careers, or just help keep you mentally active. You can deduct the cost of training, seminars, webinars, and educational courses that are directly related to your business or job. The courses should teach you new skills, refresh your skills, or in some way improve your ability to serve your customers. Provided that there is a direct connection between your course of study and current work, you'll be able to deduct the cost of your future training and education from your gross income as a tax deductible educational expense. Always invest in yourself and take advantage of your educational expense to write off. Whole life insurance policy. Purchase a whole life insurance policy to supplement your retirement plan. Whole life insurance policy can offer you tax-free for growth and contributions, no contribution limits, baseline guaranteed cash accumulation, the opportunity for dividends to add to your cash accumulation, can take tax-preferred withdrawals in retirement, customized policy that meets your needs, tax-free death benefits if you're eligible, and it can add extra to your policy like a disability waiver, long-term, even a term life insurance policy. If interested, consider several whole life insurance policy plans and understand that these policies are medically underwritten, meaning you may be ineligible to get a whole insurance policy if you cannot pass a physical. Plus, not all whole life insurance policy provide dividends, 
and there are bad ones, good ones. So make sure you do your research out there before just going for the first one that you see out there. Next, municipal bonds. Investing in tax exempt municipal bonds is a great idea for high income earners. The bonds are used to loan money to the issuers in exchange for a set interest payment that is paid to the investor at the end of the life of the bond. So the end of the life of the bond, when the bond matures, the investor gets paid the original investment and the interest payments. The income from municipal bonds is usually exempt from federal, state, and local taxes. Plus, your bond interest payments may even be tax exempt too. Note, the bonds generally earn less money than taxable bonds, but can still be useful for reducing your tax burdens. Before purchasing municipal bonds, calculate your return on investments and decide if they fit into your investment portfolio. For more information on ways you can reduce your tax burden, defer your tax payments, get more tax credits, and improve your business financial performance, hoard to invest for the future, subscribe to my channel, and smash that thumbs up button. If you have any questions or want more ways for you to increase your wealth this year, make sure you go ahead and leave that question or comments below, and we'll always make sure to promise to answer every single one from here on out. That's right. Make sure you leave a comment and get your question answered. Alan out.